Hey guys, in this video, what I'm going to be teaching you guys are conditions and we're going to be combining triggers with conditions just to showcase how powerful conditions are in Pro Protopy. So do subscribe to hit the like icon. If there are any questions again in any part of the video, definitely let me know and I can respond to them hopefully in the comments and let's just get started. So the first thing I want to do here uh, is just basically create a rectangle and what we will be doing here is creating a toggle which basically again changes from light mode to dark mode or something along those lines and we're going to do this with triggers and conditions so let's just go ahead and do it so by default we can say that this particular thing can be i don't know slightly grayish then we're going to have a toggle in the middle and obviously we need to what we need to do is we need to rename the layers as well and that's extremely important because again we would be conditioning things targeting things based on the layer I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to center this object. I'm going to create an oval here. So here we have an oval. Let's just see what the spacing is. So I think spacing is fine. So five, five on the top and the bottom. And then let's make it five on the edges as well. I'm going to go ahead, give a background to the oval. Let's just use, I don't know, this background. Let's go ahead and make the border radius of this larger. And let's just go ahead and group them. One other thing, like I don't necessarily <clears throat> have to give this rectangle here a, a background or a fill. Like we can again, similar to what we do in Figma, we can just go ahead and give that directly to the container itself. And I'm just going to go ahead. This is going to be the 100% opacity and let's just make this border radius like this. So here we have our item or our toggle. Let's just go ahead and actually instead, let's say make this white. F, 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 F. But actually, never mind. I'm changing the background color. I obviously just want to change this container color, right? So now that I have the container selected, I'm just going to go ahead and make this white. So here we have our toggle. And what I want to do here is I want to add a, can add a trigger to it. So I want to say anytime I click on, let's go ahead and rename this, click on the toggle container. Anytime I tap on the toggle container, what should happen? Well, I, this particular, there needs a bunch of things need to happen right so the first thing that needs to happen is we want to go ahead and change the background that's behind so i want to say i want to change the color of what it's going to ask me of what so i'm going to say of the background that's behind and i want to make it let's say dark right so i can go ahead and i can say it should be maybe something like this and maybe in a bluish tone something like this and let's just increase the opacity to 100% and let's see how it looks. So I tap on it, as you can see, it's dark, it's looking great. One other thing we obviously wanna do is I again wanna change the color and this time I wanna change the color of the oval that's sitting inside and I wanna say that this oval should be, I don't know, in a tint like this. And yeah, let's just have a look at it. So preview, again, tap on it. I think this looks good. One other thing we can do is we wanna basically say that this should move further to the right here and let's just see what the spacing of this is so it should be 555 five, five, and we can see that the position or the x position should be 68 so we're going to say that once i tap on it this should also move to the position of 65 and let's go ahead and preview this so i tap on this as you can see it's moving to that particular position and this is exactly the animation that we wanted now what i want to do is i want to move it back right i want to move it back so how do i do that do i basically how do i basically target this state because whatever i'm doing here is basically just happening on the initial state but how do i trigger that next state well in order to do that i can go ahead and use conditions so i can say <clears throat> that i want to add a condition so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add a condition I'm going to say if the X value of the, not the toggle container, but, but of the oval is let's say five. So I can choose the various properties, but right now I just want to uh, play around with the, with the properties by default. So I want to say if the X value is five, I want to do these things. So I'm going to move all of that into a condition. And then I'm going to say, again, I need another condition. If the X value is 65, then I want to do something else, right? What do I want to do when the X condition is 65? I want to go ahead and I want to move this thing back to its original position, which was five. So that's fine. What I 
what I also want to do is I want to change this background, which was previously again this to again the same stuff. So I'm going to say the color of what of the background should also change to this. And what else do we want to do? We also want to change this thing back to its original state, right? So I want to say the color of this oval should also change to the red color that we had. So now let's go ahead and preview this. If I tap on this, it's again going to go completely dark. If I tap on this again, nothing is happening. So let's just go ahead and see why nothing is happening. So I have a condition. If the X of toggle container, now this is wrong, right? If the X of the oval that's inside of the toggle container. So now let's go ahead and preview this again and also see if this is fine. Yes, it is fine. Tap on it. It's dark. Tap on it again. It's light. But again, there are some stuff going on because again we're moving the toggle container which we don't have to do we actually just have to move the oval that's inside it so now as you can see we have a light and dark toggle based on conditions so again this is extremely powerful so yeah that's pretty much it that's how you go about creating this toggle that's really awesome and you can use conditions to do so if you like this video do subscribe to hit the bell icon uh, hit me up in the in the comments if you have any questions but i'll see you in the next video take care bye